This is the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. Hey guys, it's your Tag and Mary and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we will be talking about yung isa pang kapatid nitong Asus Zenfone 8 which is the 8 Flip. Doon sa ating review video, you guys requested na pag-usapan ko nga rin itong Flip version niya. Kung maaalala nyo doon sa Asus Zenfone 7 series na nilaunch ng Asus, we have a Pro and Nano Pro model. Pero dito sa 8 series guys, medyo iba yung kanalang implementation. Naging iba yung approach in a good way. But correct me if I'm wrong guys, the 7 series was not launched officially dito sa atin sa Philippines. Gusto ko lang din sabihin that the Asus Zenfone 8, itong non-flip. Ito yung kasunodan ng Zenfone 7 Pro. This also explains why kung bakit medyo mas higher end yung specifications netong non-flip. Ang box ng ating Asus Zenfone 8 Flip, kamukha pa rin naman siya ng non-flip na nakita nyo sa atin sa previous video pero medyo mas malaki lang ang ating box kasi mas bigger din ang ating smartphone. Yung kulay na meron tayo ay silver and the variant that we have is the 8 gig of RAM with 256 gig of internal storage. By the way, for the pricing of the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip, ilalagay na lang natin yan dito. So early on this video pa lang, may idea na kayo kung magkano ang 8 Flip. I would say hindi siya gaano kamahalan with the specs that it's offering. Tignan natin sa video na to ngayon kung mababago ba yung paborito kong smartphone as of the moment which is the Asus Zenfone 8 at magugustuhan ko rin ng lubusan itong flip. Inside this box, of course, nandito naman yung ating case. Which is good dahil alam naman natin na syempre pag unang labas ang Asus Zenfone 8 flip, wala ka pa talagang mabibila ng case sa market. At ang kinaganda ng case na to, meron siyang malit na switch next to the camera module na ilalock niya yung flip module in place. So in short, meron siyang locking mechanism guys na makakatulong in case that you'll be using your smartphone which is actually really useful if you don't want to accidentally flip your camera. Halimbawa na lang your biking or kunwari malaglag siya. It adds extra protection lang naman pero if you'll be using the phone itself, hindi naman siya basta-basta of course magfi-flip out unless bubuksan natin ang camera application. We got the panandot or yung ating SIM ejector tool. Of course, ang ating phone mismo na again in color silver. Ito siya. Meron tayong 30 watt fast charging power brick. Meron din tayong USB Type-C charging cable. It's Type-C to Type-C and disclaimer guys, wala po tayong libreng earphones, wala rin tayong dongle dahil wala tayong 3.5mm audio port. Mary, we wanna see the flipping mechanism ngayon. Na-excited na kami. Okay, sige guys, ito na. Para sa kanyang physical appearance, wala naman guys masyadong nagbago sa kanyang design language. We still have the usual glass sandwich construction dito. With of course, a black panel. Medyo slippery ang kanyang back panel, pero curved pa rin naman yung kanyang back. Parehas sa Asus Zenfone 8. Pero ayun nga lang guys, hindi siya matte. Again, katulad ng vanilla Asus Zenfone 8. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, sobrang dami ng fingerprints ng ating Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. Which is why, mas madalas kong gamitin ng case dito kaysa dito sa isang phone. Aluminum ang ating frame dito and ang front glass natin ay Corning Gorilla Glass 6. And the back naman is Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Which is why medyo may kabigatan nga yung ating smartphone. And syempre, since meron nga tayong flipping camera mechanism, hahanapin nyo yung kanyang secondary microphone. Or of course, the noise cancelling microphone, nasa nito? It's located doon sa ilalim ng camera bump niya. And speaking of the camera, meron pa rin naman tayo guys na motor satisfying sound every time na i-open at i-close natin siya. And yes guys, katulad ng dati, pwede pa rin natin i-adjust yung kanyang flipping mechanism manually. Well, according to Asus, compared sa previous version ng mga Asus Zenfone Flip, eto guys ay nagpo-provide daw ng 50% stronger output shaft for further improving the longevity of the motor. And sabi rin nila guys, kakayanin daw ng Asus Zenfone 8 Flip up to 300,000 flips. Or sabi na lang natin na 5 years of usage at 150 flips per day. Imagine nyo na lang yun guys. Ako guys, particularly of course for owning one, itong Asus Zenfone 8 Flip, at first it was very fun to you know, flip the camera. Sobrang mayat maya, nagsiselfie ako. But then later on, guys, nawala ng konti, of course, yung excitement. And hindi na ako ganun kadalas gumagamit ng selfie camera niya. 
then I used to have it for the very first few days. So 150 flips, kahit na sobrang excited ako guys, hindi ko naman siya nagawa or na-experience unless itatry mo siya at isasadyain nyo. And sasagutin ko na rin yung mga frequently asked questions nyo. What if Mary malaglag or madrop namin yung Asus Zenfone 8 Flip habang nakaangat ang kanyang camera? Well, as with most modern smartphones guys na merong motorized pop-up camera or as on this case meron nga tayong motorized flipping camera magre-retract siya guys at kusa siyang babalik doon sa likod before pa siya tumama sa babag sa kanya kung sa kama man yan sa lapag, sa simento. On the left side, dito located ang ating SIM tray na kung saan pwede tayo maglagay ng dalawang SIM card and the micro SD card simultaneously. Sa kanan, nandito yung ating volume rocker and of course, the power button na merong blue accent. And kung maalala nyo last year, kung kayo ay nanonood din ng mga reviews, ang ating fingerprint sensor ay located sa power button niya. Ngayon, tayo ay meron ng in-display fingerprint sensor and I'm very happy guys that yung ating in-display fingerprint sensor is actually Actually, consistent and accurate naman most of the time. In short, hindi niya ako binigyan ng sakit sa ulo. And lastly, bago tayo magtungo sa kanyang display, guys, ang kanyang weight to be exact is 230 grams. For me, it's not heavy. Sabihin na lang natin kasi nga, marami pa naman din akong smartphones na nahawakan na mas mabigat dito. Katulad ng LG Wing, Legion Phone Duel 2, Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, and gets rin naman kung batch 230 grams. And kung gusto niya ng konting comparison, hindi nalalayo ang kanyang weight sa iPhone 12 Pro Max. Meron tayong 6.67 inch OLED panel na merong 1080 by 2400 pixels resolution. Aabot rin ng 200 Hz of touch sampling rate na capable of 90 Hz refresh rate as well. Ngayon, baka tinatanong nyo guys, Mary, bakit ganon mas mataas ang refresh rate ng regular Asus Zenfone 8? It's because guys, again, ito nga yung kanyang kasunuran, hindi ito. Kaya medyo nagmi-make sense din guys kung bakit ganon yung specs netong 8 at netong 8 flip. Display-wise, guys, wala akong reklamo. Although hindi naman siya top-notch yung talagang mala S20 Ultra at No20 Ultra na display specification it does the job naman. And ang importante, wala tayong mga sagabal katulad ng notch, punch hole, full screen kung full screen nga tayo dito. Which is what I really love about the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. Now, kumusta yung kanyang camera hardware? Ito, gusto ko to guys, na pag usapan talaga kasi kakaiba to sa, of course, market natin ngayon. And one of the most intuitive camera system I've seen so far. Again, kinda complicated, pero once na meron ka ng 8 flip, matutuwa ka talaga guys sa performance and capability na ibibigay niya dahil, again, unique or kakaiba nga siya. We still have the Sony IMX 686 na 64 megapixels main camera. Meron tayong dual pixel autofocus dito, but wala siyang dedicated OIS. Meron din tayong Sony IMX 363 12 megapixels ultra wide camera and an 8 megapixels telephoto camera. Those are the rear camera specifications, guys. At uulitin ko, wala tayong front camera kasi kung ano ang camera natin sa likod, yun din ang camera na gagamitin natin sa harap. So yes, the selfie game is really strong on this device. So let's dig in doon sa kanyang pinaka-camera mismo and let's have a camera tour. Opening the app, of course, we have an option to use the wide, ultra-wide, and yung kanyang telephoto lens. We got, of course, the portrait mode, panorama, documents, and some more, meron tayong motion tracking, pro video, Pro mode, night mode, and of course, we can also shoot videos, time lapse, and slow mo. For the video, guys, pede tayo mag shoot hanggang 8K resolution. Meron din tayong option to use the hyper steady. Pede rin nating isave ang certain angle on the quick toggles and then reset na lang this positions to their default state in the main setting of the camera. Ito yung tinatawag na quick angle presets. Sa kanyang panorama, it can track a moving object in a video that can be done automatically using the flip module. Of course guys, wala nga tayong dedicated selfie mode. So you just need to flip the camera at iharap sa atin para tayo ay makapag-selfie. So yes, as someone who loves taking selfies guys, nakakatawa na pwede kong gamitin ang kanyang tatlong main cameras habang ako ay nagpe-picture. Nakikita ko pa ang sarili ko, ba? As expected sa ating mga specifications, maganda naman ang mga photos taken by the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. Colors are very vibrant and crispy ang 
ang kanyang mga details. And ang ating portrait mode, maganda ang kanyang edge detection or let's just say, okay, although hindi perfect ang ating subject to background separation. And since we are using the standard cameras guys as a selfie camera, expect a more accurate selfies compared sa mga standard or regular selfie photos na nakukuha natin sa mga phones priced at this point. So yes guys, useful at may silbe ang kanyang flipping mechanism. Hindi lang siya nandyan. Para lang of course gumanda yung ating selfie photos. But to have more options, lalo na kung seryoso tayo sa ating photography and videography hobby. Napag-usapan natin yung battery niya and charging. Siyempre, considering that the phone is really big and kung nakaka-drain ba yung kanyang flipping mechanism, siyempre guys, it adds eh. Pero for me ha, based on my experience, it doesn't really affect my battery life. Paano? Siguro dahil I don't really use the flipping mechanism as much. Usually, pinapakita ko lang siya kapag ako ay magsa-selfie nga, which is thrice or five times a day lang naman. Or kaya naman gusto kong iyabang yung smartphone ko sa mga family members ko. To be specific, meron siyang 5,000mAh of battery capacity and capable again of 30W fast charging. Baka hanapan nyo rin siya ng wireless charging capability. Wala po tayo nun for the 8 flip. And ito yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya. Of course, mas larger yung battery nito kisa dito sa vanilla Asus Zenfone 8. So, to be specific, Mary, gaano tumagal sa'yo ang Asus Zenfone 8 flip? So, kung ang Asus Zenfone 8, itong maliit na smartphone na to, guys, ay tumagal naman sa akin ng isang araw ito, pero kinilangan ko siyang i-charge at the end of the day. But with the Asus Zenfone 8 flip, umaabot siya, guys, kahit kinabukasan. I actually did not expect na maglalast siya more than a day, dahil akala ko magkoconsume ng maraming ang battery ang kanyang flipping mechanism. Apparently, hindi naman pala ganun. Unless, guys, kayo ay gagamit ng kanyang face recognition. Yes, guys, may ganun tayong option for us to unlock the device. And of course, every time mag-unlock ang ating device via face, mag-flip ang ating camera every time as well. So, kung mas madalas kayo mag-selfie, madalagdagan ulit, mas makakonsume yung ating battery. For the sound quality naman guys, yung kanyang speakers, for me, well-balanced sound and enough yung ating bass. It also has higher resolution audio na impressive rin naman, katulad ng kung paano ko na-impress sa audio quality na meron tayo sa regular Asus Zenfone 8. For the operating system, it has the latest Zen UI 8 based on Android 11. Again guys, katulad ng sinabi ko sa review natin ng Asus Zenfone 8, very similar to stock Android ang ating experience sa Zenfone 8 Flip. Wala masyadong learning curve para sa akin kasi nga again, sanay naman din ako sa mga smartphones na near stock Android katulad ng OnePlus. Now, how about the performance? It has the latest and greatest Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. And again, ang unit na meron tayo ay mayroong 8GB of RAM with 256GB of internal storage. And nag-iisa lang ito guys. Isa lang ang available variant natin for the flip unlike the Asus Zenfone 8. Performance-wise guys, it performs as expected as what you guys would experience sa mga Snapdragon 888 smartphones. Meron din siyang dedicated performance mode, control over temperature, and a so-called OptiFlex memory management system. Meaning guys, ina-analyze niya yung mga applications that need to be closed or yung mga applications that needs to be shut down. The 8 flip cost 39,995 pesos na hindi nalalayo sa pressure ng higher variant ng Asus Zenfone 8 Vanilla. Which means, guys, medyo mahirap pamili between these two. Pero since magkaibang magkaiba sila ng idea and of course target market, medyo for me, mas madadalian din kayong mamili between these two. Pero if you guys are still torn between these two, i-weigh in nyo yung priorities nyo in life. Pili lang kayo guys. Parehas lang naman din sila ng presyo. Kung gusto nyo ng medyo mas powerful na 16GB of RAM, kapresyo na silang dalawa. Pero kung gusto nyo na tama lang, makakasave ka ng halos 5,000 pesos. Para sa pros and cons natin, para sa pros, okay yung kanyang build quality. Gustong gusto ko yung kanyang flipping mechanism. Bright and full screen ng ating display. Something that the vanilla Asus Zenfone 8 did not give me. Of course, very clean UI. 
nearstock Android guys and ang paborito ko talaga dito ay yung kung saan pwede nating i-customize mismo yung volume depending on the application we're using. Good stereo speakers and of course a great camera and video experience dahil nga doon sa kanyang flipping mechanism. Ngayon, kamusta naman yung mga cons natin? Ang cons, syempre guys, yung <laughs> um, sobrang smudge magnet niya talaga. Ang ganda ng kanyang likod, maganda yung kulay natin, which is why I rarely use the case. Pero kung ganito yung sitwasyon or magiging sitwasyon ng phone ko, I'd rather put the case. Pangalawa is, of course, charging. Hindi siya ganun kabilisan mag-charge compared sa mga competitors niya, katulad ng meron tayo sa OnePlus, Realme, or yung mga semi-flagship phones natin from Xiaomi. Anyway, those are it lang naman, guys. I hope nakatulong itong video natin sa pagde-decide para sa inyo kung bibili ba talaga kayo ng bagong Asus Zenfone 8 Flip. Anyway, available na rin naman ito sa ating market. If you guys want the link, I'll be putting it down below. Again, it's your tag girl, Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!